Hello, Angel Mar Lions. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, my name is Cameron Ruzanka and I've never posted this page before, so hello everybody. And um, I had a couple thoughts I wanted to share with you guys and I figured it'd just be easier to make a video. Um, to my understanding though, and to the research I've done is these things are basically like blood vessels, right? And when these clusters of blood vessels are weak, they leak on your brain, causing symptoms like numbness in the body, uh, paralysis, um, and in some catastrophic cases, death. And the thought I had was, is like pretty much every doctor that um, I've ever seen, and you know, from what I've read, a lot of people's doctors tell them that they shouldn't exercise, they shouldn't lift weights. Um, and you should really limit your activity and that does kind of make sense because it's like, okay Well, if you put strain on a blood vessel, then it gives it more potential to bleed, right? Um, well, then I started thinking like why don't we kind of take a more proactive approach and figure out how to strengthen blood vessels in the brain and You know, I'm sorry if I'm off in this Maybe someone has already posted about this and I haven't dug deep enough in the page But I didn't really see much about you know, strengthening blood vessels in the brain. And if you think about it, these things aren't really a problem at all if they don't bleed. Um, so if we can kind of attack the root of the problem and prevent them from bleeding, then, you know, cavernous malformation, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be something that affects your life at all or in a negative way if you have really, really strong blood vessels, right? Um, and basically in my research, something I read and something I've kind of looked into a couple medical articles and I don't know where they're at. If people are more interested, I can share them with you. But a way to strengthen blood vessels is also to exercise um, and how you eat plays a big part in it as well. And it, it kind of makes sense. You know, it's like if you tear your ACL and you never do rehab and you never endure like the pain of kind of putting your ACL under some strain or your new ACL or your repaired ACL. Um, and rehabbing it, then it's just going to get weaker and weaker. And eventually you'll probably have a really crappy knee and never be able to walk. Um, so to my understanding, blood vessels are kind of similar and you kind of have to put them under a little bit of strain to uh, strengthen them. Um, so maybe do it in moderation. I don't know. I was just curious what you guys thought about this. Um, and for those of you that don't have bleeds that often, and maybe those people aren't even aren't even on this page because they don't have bleeds too frequently. Um, what, uh, what kind of lifestyle do you live? How do you eat? Um, do you exercise a lot? <laughs> Voice just cracked. Um, and you know, just what do you do? What's your secret? And um, I mean, I, I saw something about CBD earlier. So for those of you who take CBD, have you noticed a decrease in bleeds since taking CBD, or just a decrease in your seizures um, slash symptoms? Anyways, um, this is the first time I've ever posted the page. I apologize for the long video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks. Good luck to everybody.